this looks like some reality show contestant that got to do a photo shoot with a supermodel. Is that what this show is? Oh no. In the middle of a photo shoot, Anjali starts crying. You've come from really struggling to sleeping in a bus station. Allison and Kayla shot. It was kind of embarrassing to watch. Today I'm reacting to an episode from America's Next Top Model where the girls have to fight each other for a photo shoot. And during judging, Tyra exposes her own show. <laughs> so let's take a look. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys. Hi. How are you doing? Good. I'm good. So for today's photo shoot, we're actually going to have a good old bitch fight. <laughs> bar fight, bar fight. What? Let's go. Uh, He's uh. like good old as if we were all expecting that. A good old fight. I'm thinking like barbecue, monopoly night, not violence. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Now there are some major campaigns out there right now that show models fighting or displaying aggression, but it's Where? very, very dynamic. <laughs> That's what, what campaign? I want to shoot today. You guys are going to be posing alongside and compared to one of the top current working models in the business right now. Tyra. Miss Coco Rocha. Oh. Yay! Are you kidding me? You're joking. Oh. That's Hello. cool. Yeah. <laughs> what did I what did I think it was gonna be this Tyra? The queen of posing. Coco's walked on every top-notch designer's runway. Like, they pay her the big bucks. I don't know if she's looking at us like, all oh, these wannabe models, because she knows what she's doing. I'm nervous. I love how Miss, Mr. J's like, yeah, all, the, all of the major fashion brands right now have people fighting in their advertising. That's what sells, yeah. I'd like to see, but I would like to see that. Can you tell us the name of one? <laughs> Do you have any examples, Mr. J? Care to share with us? I believe it, that I, yes, that is what I look for when I'm going, when I'm looking at a magazine, I'm looking for people like physically fighting. Um, that's what's going to sell me uh, a blouse or a blazer or a pair of shoes. You know, how, because what if I'm in a, in a fight or an altercation? I want to know that I can protect myself. It's survival. To make the shoot that much harder for you, you're actually going to be posing in pairs with Coco. One thing Why would you, you want to make it harder? About her is she actually teaches posing. And you know what? These girls, sometimes they get in front of the camera and they hold their breath. What would be the best tip you could give them? What I kind of do, my secret has always been doing our vowels. A-E-I-O. Mm. Just relaxing the face. And then the breathing comes after. Yeah. What you guys need to do is just do your best. Go crazy because we're, we're having some fun today. Now, we had to get... You know, it's interesting that they say that she teaches posing. It would be so valuable if she was to do like a quick like give them a few tips right before they were to start, right? Because then they could apply that to the photo shoot. Um, so let's get you guys up to hair and makeup. Yeah. Right, let's go. Why are they fighting though? What's the, the story? Well, like, what's the look today? What's going yeah. on here? The look is kind of what's like going on here? modern take on the like late 70s. Okay, a fight in the like, late 70s. Like it's Vogue, like they do it up. They to go and like, ah. When I was paired with Bianca, I immediately was very nervous because I'm like, oh, great. Like, last week, it was so much drama. Take your from the kitchen. And she's like, you're too aggressive. I don't care. I'm about to flip and punch somebody. What happened? I really don't like arguing. I tried my best. No, I don't think it's fair. I have a sensitive spirit. At the end of the day, I'm not going to concentrate on, like, trying to... And then they put her... Isn't it funny? Or just a coincidence... It's just a coincidence that... Shannon was having issues with Bianca, it seems like, in the last episode. And that's who she's paired with. I tell you guys, if I don't, if you don't believe in coincidences, you do right now. What I've learned from this show is every move is calculated and deliberate. So something like this, it's not just like, oh, they just happen to be partners. No, they're partners because they didn't like each other. And maybe they're trying to be pushed into more drama. At the end of the day, I'm not going to concentrate on, like, trying to make up with her. Like, I've done what I could, and that's all I could do. <laughs> I I'm love them win, so much. That's it. We got any beef we can use? No. <laughs> oh, those smiles look so fake. There, don't give them anything. Good right. job. You know what? Good. I, I love that so much from Bianca and Shannon. They gave Mr. J nothing. Do you see how he's trying to already incite some drama before they even start? Is there any beef we can use? I'm sure that's what you wanted, Mr. J, but today you get nothing. That's like a TikTok, right? Get ready for a whole... I hope you're 
I hope you're hungry for nothing, for nothing, right? Am I wrong? That's a TikTok, right? From Nathan for you. Mr. J doesn't even say, how are you? He's just like, so do you guys have drama we can use? Are you, can you guys start fighting right now? He's <laughs> This man is too excited to start this photo shoot with Shannon and Bianca. They, they even put them to go first. They could not wait. They couldn't wait for the drama to fester. They're just like, just get them, just put them up there. <laughs> couldn't wait. They're like, you guys are, you guys are paired up and you're going first. <laughs> Please hate each other. Please fight on camera for real. At the end of the day, I'm not going to concentrate on like trying to make up with her. Like I've done what I could and that's all I can do. I'm here to win and that's it. We got any beef we can use? No. <laughs> oh, those smiles look so fake. Ready? Fight. Three. Ready, fight. Oh, yeah, that's, that's cool. It really helps to make some noise. Okay, let's try a few more. Yeah, I love that direction. Shannon. Amazing. Wow. Bianca, you can scream, you can go, ah, without going, ah. And She's doing, Mr. Here. J, stop. She's doing good. Beautiful. Shannon, Bianca, these girls did exactly what they were supposed to do. They Amazing. They were fighting, but they heard the click and they stopped. And then we went into the next moment and we got the photo done. Push, fight, there you go, get in there. It's really funny that I'm partnered with Shannon because we have it is. differences in the past, but we worked it out. That's it. Scream. You guys. Ah! Yes. Incredible. Incredible. I'm so impressed. This is a really hard photo shoot to do too because not only are you trying to show emotion, but also movement. And you're interacting with two other people. They did amazing, amazing A+. Plus. Bianca and Shannon should be so proud of themselves because they didn't give a America's Next Top Model what they wanted, which is real drama. They worked it out. They were professional, as real models are. Oh, hey. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. He's awesome. Allison was the last person that I wanted to be paired with. Allison and, has and you're paired with her. Eyes, and she can just look, and it'll be like, I'm Allison. And it'll be <laughs> I love like, Allison. Shot. You guys go for it. Really get into each other. Coco, push them apart. Wow. There we go. Oh, oh, <laughs> Allison, there are a lot of shots where your head is all the way back. Like, I don't even see you. Let's try again. But keep your chin down. <gasps> wow. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Allison and Kayla's shot. It was kind of embarrassing to watch. That's it, Coco. See, she's That's, got it. How was that embarrassing? It looked like Coco was the professional, and there were two amateurs kind of dangling off her arms. You know, Allison, I'm missing you. No, every no. Maybe if you open your eyes and you stop complaining, you'll see that they're actually doing a good job. The fact that he's calling them amateurs when they are supposed to be veterans of America's Next Top Model is meant to hurt them even more. Like he's trying to really undermine them because they're now supposed to have experience because they're all stars. So he's just trying to take it. He's trying to go lower than low. He's like, what can I say that's really going to stink? <laughs> you know, Allison, I'm missing you in every single one. Scream. <laughs> I love it, Allison. I don't know. Can we give Coco a bottle to break? She's my again. Oh. There we go. One, She's two, gonna... three. Ah! Kayla, that was your best one. Thank you. At the end of the photo shoot, I was really shocked. I feel like I ended up outshining. They're, they're just holding like broken glass. Could have done that from the beginning. Just smash some bottles. Why did I think she's going to smash the glass bottle over someone's head? <laughs> Hello, how are you? Hi, Coco. How are you? Very good. Oh, okay. I have a couple questions. How do you work on your angles? Because um, at the last panel, Nigel told me that I needed to work on my angles. Just move around. Work on your face. Right? Oh my god. So it's just She's that. amazing. Move, move, move. See, I like I like that she asked her about that. That's good information, especially because she Coco is a very experienced model. She's going to give them information that they can actually use. I would be bringing out a notebook like, "Okay, um now tell me how you do everything." Okay. How do you model? Start from the beginning. Which do you your right do you start with your right hand? <laughs> well, I'm not a model. I'm behind the camera. But I also learn from other photographers as well. I think we can all learn from each other in, if we are in the same industry. And I think it's great to share information with one another because that's how we learn. Oh my God. So it's just that. Move, move, move. I'm scared now. I'm really scared. Oh my God. 
I'll see you later. Okay. When we're fighting. Okay. <laughs> when we're fighting. Like, I'm like, this is not the time. You were intimidated to cycle 14, but girl, you are a pro now, so you need to show That's the right. to be a professional. That's right. Hello. Angelie, you are gonna be kind of crawling up Coco's leg, kind of like, don't throw her down. What's wrong with you? Where's your energy today? Oh, I have energy. I'm just focused. And you better pick it up. Oh. Okay, let's try it. Two, one. She's, she's supposed to be Perfect. crawling. To watch Coco work is like amazing. Oh, wow. Like each face is just a new face and like a pose is different wow. every time. It just gives me such an adrenaline rush. Angelie, you want to bring now you want to bring your legs in a little bit closer. You've got to sell those shoes too. But you don't want <laughs> to sell them the bottom of your shoe. Okay, so for this one, they have Angelie crawling up Coco's leg for some reason. And then Laura, God bless Laura, she has to like fall into a mattress or something, like a couch. So she's basically like a stunt woman today. <laughs> and Coco is getting beat up by the both of them. Is she going to break a bottle over someone's head today? Staggered knees. Uh, when I first came what else could set, she do? Jay said he didn't feel my energy. I'm like overwhelmed. And on top of that, Coco, she's like right here with me. This girl's the queen of posing. She can do 75 poses in one minute. <laughs> 75 it's very poses in one minute. And I'm like, oh my God, like, I don't know now. And three, two, one. Poor Laura, Angelique. oh my God. Right now, you look half asleep. Listen, I'm sorry. The only one getting beat up on this photo shoot is Laura. <laughs> Every two seconds, she gets pushed into this mattress. Angelie, right now, you look half asleep, okay? Angelie, she's, she's, she's a pretty girl, but there's nothing. Yeah, there. Well, depends on the day you can get something. Oh no. In the middle of photo shoot, Angelie starts crying and like, like I really don't know why. Like I'm like, oh gosh, like this oh, is no. not good. Oh my God. Mr. J was pushing her with those comments. She might be nervous, she might be anxious. What's going on? I feel like, like I'm fighting and I'm trying. Like honest to God, Jay, like I'm trying. But I feel like no matter what I do, it, it just seems like it's not good enough. In this competition and out in the modeling world, we struggle with our own sense of self and whether we feel worthy enough. And I think especially with Worthy you, enough to you, Mr. J, because you make these comments, oh, these are amateurs, oh, this is embarrassing, you look half asleep, pick it up. All of that takes a toll on someone's self-esteem. When you shower someone with negative energy and comments, then they're eventually going to crack at some point. And I think that Angelie crying right now, it's not just because of this photo shoot in this moment. I think it's just throughout the maybe the entire season, it's a snowball of all of that. I'm sure episode after episode, you start to feel worn down on this show. So I think that's what Angelie is feeling right now. And I think especially with you, you've come from really struggling to sleeping in a bus station. I mean, you look so refined and you look the part. This is something that you want. You can have this. You know, when you grow up in the hood, being tall and skinny and awkward looking is not beautiful. And when you're around so much negativity, you start to think negative. For me to just hear it from a positive place, it just really touches me. Like, maybe I am beautiful. You are beautiful. So let's just get in here and let's get this shot, OK? You know, my mind was over there, but Mr. Jang put it back into place. And I'm ready to work. I'm ready to do this shoot, because I know I can do it. It's nice that Mr. J did that, and he had that talk with her. And Angelie seemed like she was doing better after the talk, which is great. The one comment that Mr. J made that was a little off-putting to me and a little out of place was when he brought up that, oh, the, the when he said something about, oh, you used to sleep in a bus station. I don't think that needed to be said. There's no need to bring up a painful moment in someone's life when they're already struggling. And again, this may seem like a harm, harmless comment and maybe I'm looking too much into it, but I just, like, why why bring that up? I'm just thinking if my friend was hurting like this and I was trying to comfort her, I wouldn't say anything like that. I'd just be like, hey, girl, you're amazing. You know, you're doing so well already. You're halfway through. You got this. You can do this. I wouldn't be bringing up, remember when you, you know, were this or remember when you went through this specific situation? That, But that's just me personally. What do you guys think? Do you think that Mr. J just, he was just trying to, 
you know, say something to comfort her? Or do you think that it didn't need to be said? Leave your thoughts in the comments. And again, maybe I'm just looking into it a little bit too much, but I think that like I'm just putting myself in Angelie's shoes like I would be annoyed if someone brought up something from my past that I like who wants to br why are you bringing that up during a photo shoot it's like the, the girl's already struggling she's already struggling you don't need to bring up when she was struggling the most in her life you know and three two one ah! that's nice Angelie you know there's a sense of tension there that's working Angelie on set was great I mean after she came back and I was like oh boy what's gonna happen now but she gave beautiful face after yes beautiful, face. beautiful. okay Angelie but you're really turning it out now thank you so no playing games anymore good job well, you're going down laura <laughs> you're going Two, down laura one. poor laura wow. thank you everybody all right good job laura this is such high fashion so you've got to rock it you got to like take it oh, when yeah. you get out there yeah i'm gonna punch so high fashion in the face thank you guys <laughs> this photo shoot's really important to me because this is my i love her dress one, that's cute or number two and just show that I'm not gonna go back down. I'm gonna go straight up. Right. We're gonna be the loudest ones <laughs> of the day. I know it. I love that this energy. Photo shoot. Everybody's great, but this is the time when the judges nitpick, and I want the judges to see that I'm really trying. Okay, let's try some. Three, yeah! there we go. Wow. Again. No! Wow. No! Throw the knee up, please. No! 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 <laughs> She's literally. <laughs> This is so funny. This is, I mean, everyone's having fun. They're doing great. Coco's saying she's freaking me out. <laughs> well, now is the time to start that fight, Coco. Get into it. Where's the, where's the battle, Coco? Where's the battle? <laughs> I love Brie. And it's so funny that she says this is when the judges start to nitpick. No, I think it's from the beginning of the season. Since season one. <laughs> that's, when, that's when this started. The nitpicking. Bring me out! <laughs> Brie was crazy. Yeah, yeah roll over. Look, there we go. She's doing like, I've never worked with like that. Even in my professional career, we have to remember it's a photo shoot. It's not a mm, fight. No! Mm. Call the cops! <laughs> I didn't even know how to pose anymore, so it was shocking. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, oh my whoa. God. Whoa. Three. Listen, Three. no, no. You guys wanted to fight. She's giving you what you asked for. This is very tame to me. Like, she's giving you the shots. She's not doing too much. This is what you wanted. <laughs> so, I love Brie freaking out Coco, who's now forgetting to pose, all while Alexandra is just being dragged on the floor. <laughs> this is so funny. I love it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Brie, Brie, Brie. Brie, don't forget to flail the dress, though. Try really quickly to get rid of it and then do something with that hand. Okay. Ready? No! Perfect. <laughs> Alexandria, keep your Alexandria. face head down and a bit towards me because I don't want to lose you. I love Here the photographer. And let's do it. <laughs> She's, holding on to the... She's holding on to the <laughs> table. She was like, oh. oh. She's so dramatic in the face. <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I, I love that I, okay that had to be the one of my favorite moments from this show this photo shoot I'm so happy to see the girls are having fun with it too I wasn't sure about the concept but I'm loving it now the fashion fight poor Alexandria what can you do just on the floor holding on to a table leg there's not much you can do hopefully they, they don't dr drag her unironically drag her for not showing the dress enough because she didn't really get to choose where she's placed in this photo shoot. Oh, I get purple? Awesome. Confidence level, I'd say that I'm always usually at a 9 or a 10. But being in the bottom two, two weeks in a row, lets me know that I need to accelerate. All right, well, <laughs> get it. <laughs> okay. okay. Love this. Good energy Bono, so far. trouble. Uh-oh. <laughs> Coordinated trouble looking gorgeous. Okay, ready ladies? Let's do it. Lisa, I love that expression, but I want to see more of it. Three quarters. That's it, Lisa. Throw your head back. Perfect. Great. Great, Dominique. That's it. Beautiful. Lisa, They're Dominique, amazing. and Coco were by far the perfect trio today. Perfect, Coco. A few more. So good. Beautiful. Wow. I'm really happy with what's coming through. It's Great. The... I think we got it. That's a wrap, everybody. Wait, 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 wait. Did Mr. J just say he's really happy 
with what's coming through. You're happy with the picture, Mr. J? Wow, that Lisa happens to be in? That's why it's so hard for me to believe when they're trying to paint Lisa out to be this person who has all these excuses. But she clearly delivers when she's modeling. And she her performance is always, she's always giving 100%. Dominique also incredible i mean the girls did so well you can definitely see the experience they're they're definitely all stars of the show what a pleasant surprise i loved watching this i cannot wait to see the pictures let's go let's just let's just see them let's see them are we ready to see our bitch fight with coco here it is this oh my god <laughs> oh my allison is so believable like if you showed me this from just like a night out i'd be like wow what happened there who stole whose man? That's all I need to know. It definitely looks like security needs to come in before things escalate <laughs> in this photo. This is cinematic. This is really like, I feel that this is a great fight. Coco, you remind me of a matador in yes. this photo. I don't know what I'm doing to you. <laughs> Kayla, you have this fear of death on your face. Just like, I want to keep my pretty and I'm about to get beat down. <laughs> Like I see the three of you working in incredible symmetry. You see the the Allison, argument. You were just Rachel. like, what is going on? Ah! Like, <laughs> but I don't know. So to get this picture, I'm I'm loving this picture, but I wasn't expecting this for sure. I love your facial expression, Allison. Again, you're doing another intake of breath, very similar to your Michael Jackson photo shoot. Yeah. Okay, thank you, ladies. Oh, intake of breath. I like that. Up just next, we have breathing. Shani and Bianca. No, Coco. I love you. What? Oh my god, Bianca looks so good. My eye went straight to Bianca. Wow. she's To me, she's the strongest in this photo. And even like her body shape. Oh, Coco, I love your demonic face. Thank you. <laughs> demonic Bianca, face. you look just exquisite. I go straight to your face and then the incredible teeth just... The you teeth. Know, arr, arr, totally believe it. It's the ugly pretty. Totally. You're doing the ugly she pretty. She looks amazing. And Coco is the master of ugly pretty. She's not scared to go there. Bianca, you look like a praying mantis. I'm scared of going fabulous. wherever that is. Shannon, if you would have just turned your face a little bit more to camera, you wouldn't have been upstaged by Bianca. Mm. Everyone looks incredible. I think, Shannon, your strength in your face is great. I think your legs look weak. I think your legs Thank look you. weak. Up next I is I mean, were, it's, it was tame commentary. It was tame. It was, uh, dare I say, nice almost, right? right? He said, I think that you all did it. I'm like, okay, okay, yes, all right, yeah. I mean, I heard some compliments in there too. I'm like, okay, okay, is this America? It is America's Next Top Model, yeah. Season 17, and we we can sprinkle those in every once in a Yeah, I'm fine with the compliments. Keep them coming. Sprinkle them in like a cake from Kroger. Does anyone have a Kroger word? If you have, if you know what Kroger is, leave a comment, or maybe a Meyer, or maybe. I feel like that's a Michigan thing, right? Is Meyer a Michigan thing only? Maybe. This is great. I think your legs look weak. So she has weak Thanks. legs. Thank you. <laughs> Up next is Laura and Angelique. I wow! Oh my God, Laura, <laughs> Laura! Oh my God. Oh my god. And it really looks like Angelie's getting beat up over there. Someone did not restock the toilet paper. And this is what happens. I love the energy, especially Angelie. Your mouth open. Angelie, I love your face. I love the expression. You're screaming, yet you still look really beautiful. You're like the beautiful bride of Frankenstein in this photo, Angelie. Okay. I have to say that working <laughs> so with all of them, these two, we might have had a little moment before. What was a moment? Angelina was kind of Tyra, you don't act like you don't thing, know. Walked off, kind of got herself back together, talked to Jay, and then returned. Coco is telling them everything, and then and then no, I love Tyra, going, oh wait, what moment? What whatever are you talking about? I personally have no idea. Could you please elaborate on this moment in which you speak of that I am unknowledgeable about? Henceforth. I don't know why. I feel like they would, they would say Hans. They would say Hans Forth, right? Somewhere. Tyra, you know what happened. Coco, you know that Tyra knows, and Tyra wanted you to bring it up. So just say that we saw you crying, Angelie. Why were you crying? And then make her cry again. I have to say, although you were so upset, you turned around right away and was like, "I gotta get this done." So as a model, that was so professional. I love and that. Laura, I really like how Coco said that to Angelie. She brought up being professional. 
And see how she kept it. She herself kept her wording professional. She said you had. She didn't even really get into specifics on what it was. She just said you had a moment, but then you came back and you did amazing, and you you worked it out. That see that there you go. Just compare that to what Mr. J told her. So you have amazing energy. I just don't see model. There's something about the way that you're moving your body that doesn't feel model-esque to me. I think you can do a lot better than this. I mean, okay, how it thank you for she was falling. Tyra, you should have seen her. This poor woman being thrown into this mattress two, two times per minute at least. I'm just thankful Lori didn't come in on crutches or in a wheelchair. To be honest, this girl was literally being thrown into this, into the floor. This was stacked against Laura from the beginning because she has to get it perfect when she's falling. And that's probably, it's probably going to be like one or two shots only that her face looks really good. But then if Anjali doesn't look good in that photo, they're not going to use it. So they probably had to go with any shot of Laura falling. So Laura had it a lot harder in this one. Next up, Alexandria and Brie. All right, are you guys ready to see your picture? Yes. Ooh. Oh my God. Wow, Brie looks awesome. Ale Alexandria, she she's being dragged on the floor. Where's that little teacup from Beauty and the Beast to come in? Start singing. Be our guest, be our guest. <laughs> Imagine everything just comes to life. Be it's Beauty and the Beast. That's the plot twist. Even though this is not even anything close to that. <laughs> it's, literally, it's literally like a bar. Okay. Well, I do like Beauty and the Beast. Ooh. Interesting. Well, Coco, you're doing your thing. Alexandria, in your photos, you usually look very high fashion. This looks like some reality show contestant that got to do a photo shoot with a supermodel. Alexandria. Isn't that what this show is? Tyra, you just described America's Next Top Model. It's a reality show. And Coco is a supermodel. And Alexandria is a contestant on the show. So that's true. Okay, that's great. Tyra was trying to insult Alexandria, but in turn, she was giving us factual information. I appreciate that. Alexandria, you're having fun with it, but it's almost from a different story. And because of the way your mouth is open, it looks like you almost could have no teeth. It's just <laughs> bizarre, but that's one of those things you have to learn. So she's toothless? I like the way Alexandria looks because you're in total control of the body. It's almost like an upside down ballerina. Brie, I think you look like a socialite, not a model who's really not convinced me that this is a fight. Okay. It's not a real Brie, fight. She was screaming. Call the cops! Call the cops! This would happen every time you would go, ah, ah. You were so wrapped up of getting this emotion out that it was almost a bit too much. Brie, mm. I don't get high fashion, I get kind of slapstick. And it's very easy when you're doing something which is over the top to go slapstick. It's important to be on the same page. Okay, thank you. The same page. Last okay. but not least, Dominique. Yes, slapstick. Lisa. I love Lisa so much. Yeah, what was that? Come on, let me keep it OG. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of suspenders in the house today. What's I like the fashion story on both. Dominique looks just heavenly. And I love those big pants. What about Lisa? Me too. All right. They say nothing about Lisa. By George. Wow. Oh my goodness. Dominique. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is she holding her heel? Oh my god, she is. Things got violent real quick. She's like, say that about my cat one more time. This is every time I wanna say every time I wanna say Lisa, I end up saying it in Arabic like Lisa. Because my sister my sister's name is Lisa, so Every time, like, there's so many moments in this video that I had to cut out where I'm like, Lisa looks like, and I'm like, oh, okay. Half of this is like, L Lisa's uh, posing. I'm like, God damn it. Okay, well, Lisa's getting beat up. See, I said it again. Lisa got the shoe. She got the heel. <laughs> a lot of suspenders in the house today. Like Tyra's the wearing suspenders. Boat. Dominic looks just heavenly. And I love those big pants. Me too. Again, I love how All they right, just ignore here Lisa. Is your best bitch I think you guys both are rocking the heck out of this picture. I love your look, Dominique. Really strong, really powerful. So good. You're the star of this picture. And it looks like you're the instigator. Yeah. It looks you like you're the look instigator. Like Just like you guys on the judging and that panel. If they tell, you're coming after them. The instigators. It's another great narrative. It's like a Quentin Tarantino still from Kill Bill 12. It's <laughs> fabulous. Never watched it. How did but you feel about I'm sure it's good. Your crotch? 
Um, I didn't know she did. <laughs> <laughs> These two, they were fighting, but they actually were giving me a pose, pose, pose. It was just good that they worked as hard as they did. Good job, guys. Lisa, I actually love you in this picture as well. You have your mouth you open do. in pretty much every photograph. And I was looking at your pictures from the challenge, and one of the problems with your pictures is that your mouth Who's... was open in literally every frame. Here it works. No yeah. negatives, damn. No negatives? That was a negative. How is that? He literally was like, you have your mouth open in every single picture that I ever have seen of you in your entire lifetime, and your mouth is always hanging open. But in this one, it works. And Tyra's like, that's amazing, Lisa. You've done the impossible. Every other model has their mouth open in these pictures, but Nigel, heke, like, rakiz ala Lisa. <laughs> See, there, there you go with the Arabic. I'm just going to call her Lisa. He's the only person, like, it just feels like Nigel does not like Lisa, and he just shits on her for, no, for like, every opportunity that he can. Anything she does is just going to annoy him. Yeah, yeah. work it. Oh. Wing the booties. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> So now it's is it time over? For the judges to deliberate. Oh, when I call you back, I will who's announce. going home? Who is I can't even. I don't know. This is very unpredictable. But it's gonna be this. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Tyra's Nigel's going home. So we have to do some deliberation. Starting with Laura and Angelie. Angelie has come around. It's dynamic. Angelie in this photo, I feel her pain, and I love every minute of it. Having her, uh, you love her set, pain. I thought, oh great, this girl's going home. But then she pulled it together. I was just really amazed. Laura, so she's not going home. She doesn't come off as model. She comes off as stunt extra. Stunt she extra. was a stunt extra. <laughs> That's what she. For me, Shannon in this shot just doesn't really work. I don't get drawn to her. I don't really believe her. It's technically. You don't it's believe her. Not it's not it's a real fight. <laughs> As you said, she's like a predatorial praying mantis. She's roaring. She's like that MGM line. You know, she <laughs> she on. she's in her own moment. Just like, Rawr. Wow, Kayla that was good, Nigel. I love this photograph. I feel the tension. Yeah. I'm just not blown away by Kayla. It's not a real a fight. There's in it. I'd like to see the legs kick up. I just want to see sure her. She's fully into it. Allison, I think she's You want her to fight more. I think it's very hard. You want more violence. To be in the photo with you and to stand out and to look professional. And I look at this photo of Allison and I I think she's holding her own. She looks amazing. She could like, be like it, with an Italian boat. I Brie and that's Alexandria. True. I don't have a lot to say about Brie. The fact that it was over okay, so say it. and it, you know, she wasn't giving much variety uh, is boring for the photographer. Ah! Boring. Ah! It's a boring ah! fight. Well, it was not even a scream. She was like, Alex, I'll save you. Police. <laughs> call police all you want, but you want to call police. <laughs> Alexandra for me. She, that's what shot. she did. She just looks a lot older than she is. Body. Position. Stop oh calling gosh. Alexandria old. She do love the body, but I You're older than her. her out, <laughs> that would be the picture like that. Just legs. Yeah. That'd be fantastic. Lisa and Dominique. This shoot, they were getting me excited. They knew exactly what they were doing. If there's anyone that was a natural at fighting, it's it would you, be Lisa, Nigel. You know? Oh no, and it's Lisa. Go. She's right yes. in the moment. And she it's got all it like the judges. That. Lisa was holding her own. She's just holding up her body, and I just thought that was amazing because a lot of models are a little lazy of those sort of things. Dominique's come a really a long way for me. Okay. Right. Little outfit this week. Just a little rising star is happening with Dominique. She's wearing like a tank top and she's pants. The light she looks cute. Here. I love Dominique. She's in the moment, she's grabbing your leg, she's grabbing your hair, and then she captures the audience. My back was mostly to her, but I could just feel a lot of movement, which you know me, I love when yeah. someone can just. Keep I changing you like. Her. I I like I run away sometimes. I have movement. So it is time. I love that look from Nigel. Somebody. He's like, Her. wow, that's you could have done more, we Nigel. Okay, I don't know who's going home. I can't even guess to be honest. But if I was gonna guess, Alexandria bottom two. Even though I love Alexandria, I think she did amazing. Um, I don't even know who's gonna be in the bottom two. I know whoever's in the bottom two, I'm going to just not agree with. So does it even matter? <laughs> does it doesn't matter. Before we see who gets eliminated for no reason, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for you to build your business and brand online. They have so many amazing features 
And the best part is, is that it's easy to use. I currently have my photography website using Squarespace. And what I love the most about it is if I ever wanna change up the look of my website, I can do that with a click of a button using one of the many designer templates that they offer. You can see how your website looks before it even goes live. You can test out different templates, see how your website looks. That's one feature that I love. Another feature is the gallery options that they offer. For a photographer, it's very important how my images look on my website. I can have them stacked. I can have them as a carousel. I can show before and afters of whatever I want. I can even adjust the space between each picture with just a simple slider. You can even make a store on Squarespace. You can sell your digital goods. You can sell merch. Whatever you're thinking, you can do so using Squarespace. And another feature that I love is the calendar availability. You can show this to your clients. It shows a calendar of what days you're available and they can book you through that, which I think is super, super helpful, especially as a photographer. But you don't have to be a photographer to be using Squarespace. If you're an artist or anyone who has a vision for something, you can use Squarespace for that. If you have a vision for something, make it happen with Squarespace. You can start a free trial by going to squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica. Use my offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All the information will be in the description. With that being said, let's see who gets eliminated. Well, Bree and Alexandria, please step forward. So interesting, these two beautiful girls two of our most popular girls from cycles past, but they stand before me. Well, I'll start with you, Brie. A girl that is actually more beautiful as she has aged. Cycle five, go. She's a pretty girl. This season, I'm like, she's an amazingly beautiful, fabulous, stunning woman. Thank you. But what happened to Brie? She feels guarded. And the amazing thing is that on this photo shoot this week, you weren't guarded. You were screaming and just, ah! But it's not just about the performance on the set, it's what is captured on film. And then we have Alexandria, mm. a girl that in her cycle, which was just recent, went really far because her photos were strong, beautiful. She held her own. But from week to week in this cycle, you're losing your competitive edge. In your photos, they say, you know, you're getting soft. You're getting soft. Both of you girls are a smidgen of the power that you had in your old cycles. You want to give examples? Just competition. <laughs> Just the, no details. No details. I love Brie and Alexandria. Alexandria. Bye, sweetie. Brie. I love Brie. Bye, queen. Somebody is slipping. You gotta show that- I love how Brie left me. That you had, right? <laughs> Brie left immediately. Photos where the judges were like, whoa. Congratulations. <laughs> That's kind of iconic. She just left. <laughs> Usually now is the time that Brie would leave, but she just left. <laughs> Of that is that is actually an iconic moment. Sorry, like love that so much. Um, <laughs> I so I love that she did that so much. The most believable fight to me was between Nigel and Lisa. He's just he, making comment after. It's like a one sided fight. It's mostly just Nigel fighting with Lisa. But what do, what do you guys think? Who had the most believable fight in the photos? Leave your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you guys in my next video.